नमस्ते टू एवरी वन नमस्ते सर मैर जी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते तारा जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम जी टुडे वी हैव विनय चौधरी जी विद अस फॉर शेयरिंग सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद विनय भैया लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस हिम विनय भैया नमस्ते आर यू देयर आई कैन यू हियर यस यस आई कैन हियर यू नमस्ते होप माय वॉइस इज ऑडिबल जी सो या या योर वॉइस इज ऑडिबल सो बिंग Yeah, it is quite uh, long time with us. So he is the uh, advisor for Center of Universal Human Values, Maharashtra Institute of Technology, Chhatrapati, Maharashtra. Uh, he has worked as head vice principal, dean, alumni affairs at MIT, Chhatrapati, and Aurangabad, Maharashtra. He has more than thirty six years of teaching and administrative experience at that institute. uh also he is uh, involved in various students activities till now and uh, he is a regular member of this all these uhp related activities starting from regional meeting to national prp development meeting also uh, contributed in various volunteering activities uh, starting from contributing in online workshop offline workshop uh wherever possible we try to contribute uh he has taken several session of student workshop phb1 phb2 introductory as well as uh, he is the regional coordinator of western region so when we look back uh, about his phb journey he and started with me uh, in july 2020 and then refreshed one in november 2020 and then Uh, started morning session january 2021 and uhb2 uh, he has started july 2022 so uh may now invite vinay here to share based on the following points ji vinay namaste welcome hey, namaste namaste bhaiya and namaste to all my guys for the mental health and all already may if your yeah. voice bit louder then it will be nice okay so you are audible you. but okay. now is it okay um, i think i should remove this uh, headphone just a minute now uh, how is it bhaiya hello ji fine now it is very good badhiya ekdam badhiya hai sir okay so Tara Bhaiya has already introduced me. Uh, nothing much to add into it. Uh, I'm really enjoying this journey since uh, July 2020. Uh, each step had brought me some uh, opportunity for uh, self development, and for that I thank uh, my mentor Umesh Bhaiya. Then. all the resource persons sharmila didi rajiv sir uh, ganesh sir jitendra bhaiya uh, vanchana didi all of them who had some or the other way helped me uh, to develop myself i am also thankful to and have uh, express my gratitude towards all the volunteers who are connected through uhv platforms with me now coming to understanding of exercise 1 and exercise 2 uh be aware that is first step uh, be aware of our uh, imagination and what i can see is uh, almost 24 hours uh, i am aware of my imagination of course sometimes uh it's not very clear about whether it is desire or expectation but still feeling and thoughts they are very clear to me and almost every moment i am aware of it and as ganesh sir says it's a simple example a simple step so i am able to do it uh even before uhv also most of the times i was aware 
<clears throat> and I can check my feelings. Uh, they are whether they are naturally acceptable or not. Most of the times I am comfortable now. Uh, last more than one and a half years, I can see the, the change which uh, it is bringing to me. Most of the times, these feelings are naturally acceptable and I am comfortable with it. I am in harmony. That I can uh, see. Whenever uh, most when whenever I am in harmony, whenever the feelings uh, or thoughts are uh, in line with natural acceptance, uh, it doesn't uh, uh, get my attention. But whenever there is slight discomfort, immediately uh, I become aware of it. So I can see that these feelings are decided by me. Uh, to give some experience of it that uh, in one of the workshops uh, I was uh, the resource person for it and the first day on inauguration everybody uh, other than me in the team and the local uh, program coordinators and all they were invited on the stage and I was the last uh, to be invited so there, uh, a preconditioning came to my mind that I being a resource person, I being a special, I should have been invited at the first uh, time or I should be, I should have been invited first. And then there was little discomfort in me. So I could see that clearly. And then I started thinking about why this feeling is coming. So I could see this preconditioning that being a resource person, I should be considered to be the special one. And then there was a smile on my face because I could understand that this is a preconditioning. And immediately, uh, within few minutes of time, I could come back to my uh, naturally acceptable feelings. So, uh, so up to fifth step, uh, I am able to see very clearly and help myself to remain in harmony at all the times. This uh, harmony is very rare. Sometimes, particularly when I'm with my spouse or family members, uh, there is a little disharmony, but uh, I do not express at that time. I can uh, ensure that the feelings are not expressed so that the situation will not go beyond uh, it will not create disharmony in others further disharmony in others so that I can check for myself <clears throat> uh, of course this information is there that feeling of uh, relationship harmony and coexistence are naturally acceptable but not all the time I am able to see this clearly, very clearly. I can say that this is still an information with me. Uh, with human-human relationship, uh, I can see the relationship, but uh, sometimes it is based on the body. So not very clear uh, to see the human-human relationship also. Then... Uh, I am able to some extent to ensure my feelings uh, in uh, line with relationship, harmony, coexistence, even if it is not very clear. So uh, still it is uh, possible for me. It is helping me to get into that harmonious state. Okay. Then going to uh, observing the body. I am in space, the body is in space. Uh, I can see that uh, I am in space, but I am not able to experience that. Experiential validation is not there. Uh, still, I can say that it is an information for me. Uh, I can see the space. Uh, I can see that there is no activity, but still I see that it has to be validated uh, for me. Of course, this uh, I transact information through space with the body. 
between body and self that I am able to see uh, because uh, I can see that there is no uh, material transfer uh, transfer between body and self. And from that, I uh, am concluding that uh, there is a transfer uh, transaction is in the form of uh, through the space. Uh, I can see the, the sensations. I can feel the sensations. I can read the sensations. Uh, whenever I focus on my body, I can see that there are so many sensations coming from organs like uh, heart, uh, lungs, a digestion system, or uh, the entire body parts. So I can see those sensations when I focus on my body. And I'm also uh, able to see that whenever uh, there is some, uh, whenever I feel that some sensation is important, like if there is a pain in my neck, uh, whenever I'm using a laptop for sharing the content or any other uh, activity or some document preparation and all. I can see that after uh, a few uh, hours of time, uh, there is a pain in neck and it uh, starts from neck and goes to head and all. So there I can understand that I have to take some decision so that it will not uh, increase the pain. So immediately I take some decisions so that I can uh, stop my working on the laptop. So that I'm able to see. Not many uh, ex examples I am able to quote today because most of the times I can see that wherever I am, whenever, uh, whenever I am, uh, wherever and wherever I am, I am able to focus on my imagination and most of the times I can ensure harmony in me. Uh, many times the sensation uh, or the outside behavior of the other human beings are uh, I can see that and I know that uh, the meaning is given by me whether it is a sensation or, or from the body or is it uh, the behavior of the other uh, and the meaning which I give I check whether that the meaning is uh, giving a miss the meaning is created creating the feeling of harmony or not and whenever there is a disharmony I can check what is making me to take uh, give this meaning okay so it takes little time to understand that what samskar are there, particularly uh, samskar of test, uh, selecting food or something through test. That is uh, uh, deciding my uh, feelings at all. So that I can, I am able to see. I am working on my samskar. I know that it will take time because many of them are deeply rooted. I'm not in hurry. I know that I'm, I'll be continuous. So if I can work on myself to um, eliminate these sanskars, which are leading to disharmony in me in this lifetime, okay. Otherwise, I, I'll be doing it whenever I take, I go for next lifetime. I am not in a hurry. Uh, then coming to the rest of the points. How many steps are you able to see in yourself clearly? So I can I can say that almost uh, barring one or two steps, I am able to see most of the steps clearly in this exercise one and exercise two. I know, I understand that uh, happiness is my innate nature. Okay, and not effect from outside. And that is why every time whenever there is a moment of unhappiness, I'm able to bring back my uh, harmony uh, through contemplation. Uh, 
how much uh, of this program for trying to get favorable effect sensation or feeling from outside so very less particularly test i can see that preconditioning is uh, reducing a lot but test is still uh, affecting my uh, decisions that i can see uh as far as commitments is concerned uh since i got retired in september 2023 and immediately uh, in one week uh, i got a call from my director general asking me to rejoin uh, and take the responsibility of transforming the entire institutions under the management into uh a center for living uh, value based living so of course he didn't use this words he said that uh, you have to work for uh, all the institutions under uh, our management and you have to work for students faculties uh, families of faculties and all so since november i have rejoined and took over the charge of advisor for center of universal human values and i really find myself fortunate that uh, management has uh, accepted all my uh, concerns all my uh, and has given me that opportunity to work ex exclusively for universal human values and since then uh, i could uh my so i could make uh, i could bring uh, some uh, workshops fdps mdps and uh, i have also uh, this time uh, the institution is also introducing uhv2 in second year so now i have uh, plans for faculties then students Uh, i am also trying to have a workshop for families of faculties so all this is in forthcoming plans i am also thankful to my family members who had supported me uh, in this journey whenever i have a workshop and i have to go uh, uh, to that location uh, earlier there was a uh, struggle for me to um attend such programs or go and conduct such program but now they have accepted it uh, so thanks to them uh number of hours which i can devote uh, since at the college level and family level um i am free to uh, use uh, mo most of my time for uhv activities whether it is a meeting or uh, morning sessions or workshops so whenever i am not doing anything uh, there is a little uh, feeling that i am not utilizing my time so that's all from my side uh, thank you all uh, the mentors the co explorers my family members and the entire uh, existence for what uh, for the opportunities i am getting and which has made me made me able to focus on my purpose of living and to march towards that so thank you very much ji tara bhaiya over to you yeah yeah thank you vinay bhaiya for this crisp and nice sharing So you have given many daily life examples of your daily living. Thank you. So we will be taking comments from Samila Didi. May I take uh, comments from Samila Didi? Didi, Namaste. Welcome. Ji, Namaste, Vinay Ji. Ji, Namaste, Didi. Namaste. So nice to hear you this morning. If I recall, um. i i tend to recall uh, your sharings i think at the time when your 
daughter was to get married and yeah. <laughs> at that time <laughs> so there was a lot of turmoil I think at that time yeah. and there was a lot of contradiction some disharmony and yes. uh, I think from that till now I can see a lot of change mm -hmm. it's two All years now two years mm -hmm. nice yeah so I recall um, so many times when you used to share that time, uh, you used to share these doubts and how to go about in the behavior and uh, all of that. And I think many of those have settled within you, at least it seems that way. Um, and I think what you're sharing also that there, is, there are more moments of disharm uh, more moments of harmony as opposed to the disharmony now. Uh, that is, you know, probably a result of the exploration and the work that you did on yourself at that time. Easy. Yes. I would say one thing here, though. You mentioned that uh, you have, uh, you know, you don't feel any need to, no need to hurry. Uh, and I think that's good that uh, we shouldn't try to rush or hurry. But at the same time, I would say that uh, until and unless we decide to work on it, you know, uh, work on ourselves at a certain pace, we may become more laid back and get into a uh, sort of... Um, a phase where we become sort of stagnant or I should say, you know, we become complacent with the little bit of harmony that we are able to experience as compared to earlier. So just be cautious about that. There's something yes. I wanted to say, not just to you, for everybody. Yes. Yes. A couple of other things that I wanted to draw attention to so when we are saying seeing or observing, that we are trying to do from the point of natural acceptance, from the point of pure observer, which is at the level of the highest activity within us. And when we are concluding something logically or thinking about the information, we are back down in the imagination. So these two we should be able to see distinctly within us. So when I say I am seeing, I am observing this, then at that moment, we are trying to refer to seeing from the point of pure observer. Mm -hmm. When we are thinking about it logically, we are taking this information and trying to rationalize and get to a conclusion. Now, mm -hmm. why is it important to see? Why can't we conclude logically? Because those assumptions that we have from long time, our sanskars, our acceptances. So uh, until and unless we are observing from pure observer, anything below that pure observer, which is not clear to me, which I have accepted, will again you know, um, influence my imagination, my feelings, my thoughts, and ultimately my behavior. So if I want to get to that pure part within me, if I want to get to definiteness in behavior, if I want to get to happiness in continuity, this is a requirement that we have to try to see directly from your observer. So although there is no need to rush and there may be many more lifetimes, but in the past also we have been through many lifetimes and we will not be able to see our readiness if we become more complacent. So somewhere we need a balance, not to rush, not to become overwhelmed with what is there, but at the same time, 
trying to go moment to moment and seeing wherever there is some disharmony, trying to see where this disharmony came from. What kind of feeling did I have? How did I get this feeling? Why did I get this feeling? Even though I have all this information. So that quest, that seeking must continue. That I wanted to just um, say Jeet. to everybody. The other thing, like when we say, you know, you mentioned that um, about happiness being our innate nature, not an effect from outside. So when we understand that happiness is our innate nature, it's not an effect from outside, then we will be in harmony regardless of whatever the situation outside. Even this taste sensation, ultimately, why do we look for taste outside? Somewhere, I am not able to see that this happiness is my innate nature. Right, right. You know, if I am able to understand that, then I won't be looking for happiness outside. Very true. So all these things now, I think now that you have free time with you, you mentioned that now you have retired from the job, although I know that you are still occupied and you are doing many things. But I think we can set some priority for this. And as time goes further, we can sort of go to deeper levels of exploration that is very much possible. And I think we can all set that as a priority for us. Because without that understanding, what's going to happen is our old patterns, our old acceptances, they will start um, motivating our imagination and ultimately our behavior. So this observing the imagination, referring to the natural acceptance. If this we keep doing, in that process, we will also be able to see these acceptances that we have, which are not in line. And ultimately, it is not about trying to push them away or trying to get rid of them, but rather seeing what is naturally acceptable. So as we change or as we keep moving towards what is naturally acceptable, in a very normal, natural, gradual manner, we will be changing our sanskars, transforming our sanskars to those that are in line. And ultimately, these that are not in line will drop off. So I think, you know, if I look at from where you started, you have come a long way. Of course, there is a long way further to go. And I just wanted to wish you all the very best. And thank you. Um, thank you. And I also wanted to ask if um, your wife would like to share. I know she has come for several uh, <laughs> workshops. She, also. She's yeah. still sleep, sleeping today. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> next time it would be nice because yeah. I know she has also been uh, listening to many of the workshops and things. Yeah. So uh, it will be nice if you can share as a family. That will be very nice. It Perhaps take, for next time you can. I see it. it will take a little more time. Okay. Yeah. All right. So whatever time it takes, I think um, you may be noticing that you know things at home also start becoming smoother. Yeah. The harmony, you know, tends to grow even if one person is involved. Of course, if more and more people in the home are involved, the entire atmosphere can become very different, much more yeah. harmonious. Yes. I, I can tell you uh, yesterday's uh, ex uh, uh, experience that yesterday uh, there was some discussion going on between my wife and my daughter. I'm with <laughs> my daughter here in Pune. And then I started. Uh, 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 talking about the issues which they were talking about and then I uh, 
put before them uh, the proposals, how we make decisions, how the feelings of disharmony comes into us. And I could see that they they were very keen in listening to all those. I don't know how right. how well they could understand it, but now there uh, there is a readiness to hear uh, mm -hmm. about uh, these UHV proposals and all that I can see. Yeah. Very nice, and that readiness has come probably because of your shift in behavior. Probably, yeah. Your own feeling, and uh, you know, your they are feeling more assured with your behavior. Therefore, they are in interested now in listening. So very nice. All the very best to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.